Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready for the Kamikaze? Um, and I know you don't. I know you don't particularly want to to get into a a bash segment about Kanye West, but I gotta ask you: Did you watch any of his uh his speech the other yes. day? Yes, you did. I I watched, of course, the core one that's going around about uh, Harry Tubman, but I did watch a little bit more clips, like on on uh-huh. um, Instagram and stuff like that. Uh, yeah. At first, I was just like, you know how everybody is just like, well, that's just a little clip. We need a little bit more content. I was like, I don't mm-hmm. think I need more context to somebody saying that Harriet Tubman did not free slaves. I think that's an open shut case that this guy's lost yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> I don't need any more context to this. Uh, but yeah, my my initial thoughts is like, we've been calling this guy a genius for years, and I'm just mm-hmm. like, why? He's a genius at his craft. What he Music. does, he does what very he does. well. Well, I he think, used to do really well. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Used to be. You're absolutely right because it's not really been looking good lately. But, uh-uh. like, we got to stop boxing this guy in to do it, being this genius and yeah. smart guy of everything else because it's getting to his head. Because <laughs> we we created what's going on right now, not him. He didn't wake up this morning like, ah, uh, you know, a lot of people doubted him. And it was a true underdog story of how he came up. That's a up. good point, man, yeah. But, like, yeah. we we honestly created this monster that's in his head right now. It sucks. Um, I, th- so I'm on Us Weekly. There were a couple. They, they broke down a list, not me, of six of the big points that he said that were kind of controversial. There were the, the part where he talked about he and Kim aborting their daughter North. Um, that's when he really got emotional during the the middle of it. Yeah. He also made the claim that you just now alluded to that Harriet Tubman never actually freed the slaves. Um he would be at peace if he and Kim divorced. Uh his brain is too big for his skull. Yeah, I think we were just kind of saying his head is too big for his brain. Um <laughs> he doesn't give a f if he wins the election. Why did I just now censor myself for the first time ever? The the article did that. The article wow, did that. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh he could shoot AR-15s all day without going to jail. And that's those a, are that's a, a very Trump things. thing to say, by the way, that last one. That was a very Trump thing to say. Yeah. <laughs> and, you know, he had the flak jacket on. He's got 2020 shaved into his head. Yeah. And there is this thing. And, you know, we, we were talking a little bit before we started recording. And like you said, man, it is a huge pile on. There's a lot of people talking about this man and kind of ridiculing him. But do you think he lacks the self-awareness to go on to social media and be like, they're, they're making fun of me? Or do you think that he's such a branding genius that it doesn't matter what we say as long as he is plastered all over every headline? The answer, sir, is yes. Everything you just said, yeah. absolutely. <laughs> I'll get into it like a little. I'll just break down every little thing you just said. Like, first of all, out of everything you said, disregarding the whole Harriet Tubman thing, because we can go on all day of how historically inaccurate and stupid that was. I just wanted to just just talk about that one thing he said about um about uh him almost aborting his daughter and his mom wanting to abort him or possibly uh the dad wanting to abort him or something like that. I mean that's obviously a, a Christian reference trying to go to that base of like abortion yes. being bad and what what could have happened if Kanye West wasn't alive and stuff like that and. I can see why he got emotional because, you know, he he seems like a guy that's always wanted love from a a father figure and never got Mm -hmm. it. And he seemed like someone that really, really loved his mother. And, of course, she's no longer with him. I understand the emotion in that. And I'm not going to, you know, persecute him for having that, you know. But at the same time, if you want to be the president, which I'm going to argue he never really wanted to, what you were saying about the marketing thing seems like 100 percent what this is. Um, if you want to be president, you got to hold your temper, man. You can't be, you can't be yeah. talking with the world leaders and like, you know what? My mom almost supported me. <laughs> Dude, they will <laughs> invade us in a second. They will yeah. invade us. In, <laughs> they will all team up and like, okay, we have our differences, Russia and China, but we, we gotta, we gotta get this guy out of here. You know, that's yeah. what would happen. Um, but yeah, as a, as everything else though, I feel like this is just him. He's a genius marketer. We'll get, I'll give him another genius label. He's great at that because mm. Instead of talking about COVID, instead of talking about, you know, racial injustice, instead of talking about how stupid the president and, and the, the politics are right now, we're talking about his dumb ass. We're talking about the dumb shit he said, and of course, the album that he's probably going to drop within the next month is going to do well. Whether if it's good or not, it's going to do well just because we want to see if he's going to touch on these bullet points that he was talking yeah. about. So, yeah. it is a marketing, great marketing scheme. He's, he's invested in 
on, we all are talking about it. We all got our eyes on it. We all know he's not running for president, but we're entertaining. The, the news is talking about it like it's actually going to be a thing, which it's not. Yeah. He's not even registered to, to be on the ballot. This is Hold stupid. Up, though. Hold up, though. Re- on that thought, did you not think the same thing about Donald Trump? Oh, no, you're under, no, okay, if you're, you're making a good point right here. I did think this is silly, this is ridiculous, everything I'm saying right now, I did think that, but I would probably give Donald Trump a little bit more credibility if, if, if those two ran at the same time, I would think Trump would be a little bit more serious, even though I would, at the same time, I would be like, these, both of these guys are clowns, but the clown show, yeah, 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 but he, he has a lot of political ties and he has been doing, you know, he has been campaigning this for decades. So yeah. I would have pro- – Kanye has too, which if he's not serious now, which I 100% am on that he's not, this might be a real thing in the next 10 years if he if he does not want to let this go. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. That's what I was wondering. <laughs> is he, like, priming the public for it? You yeah. Know? Um, but, yeah, I, di- I didn't want to bring it up to go in on the dude. Like you just now said, it's something to kind of distract us from this this circular loop that we're stuck in and I help keep your brother out the streets subscribe to my dad's YouTube channel love peace and chicken beef